Hello, beautiful internet family. Dan here from danstube.tv. And today's audio is coming to you directly from the newly released DJI Mic. Now, this little system here is an exciting piece of technology from DJI, something unexpected, but exciting nonetheless. It's a transmitter receiver. It's a wireless setup. You get the two transmitters. So there's another little microphone in this little charging case here. And you get the receiver, which is on top of my camera right now. There's connection pieces in here to connect it to an iPhone, you know, an iPad if you wanted, or other Android devices. You've got the USB-C and the lightning connection. It's a charging case, like I said, magnetic base at the bottom here. And I'm holding this to show you what the audio is like directly from the actual microphone unit. But you can then connect up a lapel microphone and have that connected to your shirt and have this clipped in down your pants or however you want to work it. But this is the audio directly from the DJI mic. I'm now going to go over and show you the Rode Wireless Go audio, which is what I typically use on the channel, just so you can compare and see what your thoughts are between the two microphone systems. Right now, I'm using the Rode Wireless Go, which is what I use in all of my videos. I typically have this guy here though, a little lapel microphone that clips in here. You'll see that little fluffy thing on my chest all the time. But today, because that kind of confuses the process of what the audio is like um, compared to the DJI mic, which is this amazing system here, basically I thought I would hold this transmitter so you can kind of hear what the audio quality is like from the transmitter just without any lapel mic, without any additional settings or tweaks or anything like that. It's literally just the default Rode Wireless Go. And I'm gonna briefly show you what that sounds like and then go over to the DJI mic. I will have a full comparison on the channel though very soon. This is now audio directly from the DJI mic system. I'm obviously just using the one transmitter here. There are the two. So if you've got someone else and you're trying to film two people, you've got that full setup ready to go out of the box. Now, this is how it comes in a very small box. You also get a um, multiple wind shields or the little furry cats that sit on top of the microphone to help you, you know, battle that wind. But the thing that's cool about the design of the DJI mic is it actually screws in. And that's something that other alternatives like the Rode Wireless Go, it's more of a clip design, not as reliable. It would fall out a fair bit. I love that screw design for the wind filter and a really nicely compact little device here. You got that magnet on the back so you can clip it onto like a thick sweatshirt jumper. You could connect it to other things that are like relatively thick because that magnet, honestly, like I'm not exaggerating here. I had to like scrape it off a metal barrel. It was that attached to the barrel. So a strong magnet, you've got a really strong clip here as well. You've got other options if you want to connect like a lapel mic. You've also got onboard recording on both of the transmitters. So as the box says here, you get up to 14 hours of onboard memory. So that means that it will store 14 hours of audio. That's insane. So you can actually have that going directly to uh, the, the unit itself. Right now, I'm just literally recording from the DSLR. So it's just going to be taking that audio. But if I wanted, I could record a backup as well, or I could just record it directly to this mic if I needed just purely audio. The other thing that's really cool here is that the actual microphone system itself has amazing battery life. They reckon there's 15 hours of battery life. Now that is getting achieved through this charging case here. As you magnetically clip everything in, the receiver, the transmitters, and everything else, it's going to be charging those three units. The receiver and the two transmitters will be getting charged from this case. Now you plug it in via USB-C and give it a bit more juice but it's got a bunch of charge and you really won't need to charge it anytime soon. Like you can go for multiple days of shooting and that's all you'll need. And that's what I love about it. It's a really smart design. Another really cool thing about this DJI mic system is that it's easy to change between the device that you want to record on. So right now it's on a DSLR. Previously, if I wanted to go to my iPhone, for example, I'd have to plug in a lightning connection to an adapter and then that adapter would go into my phone. Now with this setup, the DJI mic, I literally just slide out the hot shoe mount, slide in a lightning port or lightning cable connection head piece, and then that just plugs straight into my iPhone and it's literally that simple. Again, that's what you need, especially if you're on the run, you've got the full charging capabilities of an additional power bank, 
which is charging everything for you after each recording. Perfect, slotted in, magnetic. And then you've got all those other things. So really smart design. I'm super excited to test out this new microphone from DJI. They just keep surprising me with all the products that they're releasing. So this is the DJI mic system. It's got a really cool power bank, like AirPods design system where the two receivers sit in there. Um, you've got the transmitter that I've got connected right now um, underneath the iPhone. And then you've got different like connection pieces like a USB-C, you've got the lightning connection, and that's how you can connect it to a device like an iPhone or an Android device. And then if I really wanted, I could you know, grab out this other microphone, have two microphones set up, magnetic design on the back here, very interesting stuff. So I'm keen to see how this all performs. Let me know what you think of the audio in the comments below. Now, as I'm sure you can tell, I'm quite impressed so far with everything. Even the audio quality has been phenomenal. One thing I can compare to the Rode Wireless Go is that if this little system here was too close, it would peak a fair bit. The audio would like peak and it would be a bit distorted. Now you can adjust the settings and pull down the decibels, but I found that I'd actually have to have the unit at even lower, you know, like it would have to come down low, even if I pulled those decibels down, where I find with this unit, it just seems to be equalized nicely. So I can have it at a small distance from me and the audio just seems to work perfectly. Now what I will test at the end of this video, this isn't going to be my full review and I'm also going to have a comparison with the Rode Wireless Go, but I'm going to test the range of it now. So I'm going to turn on the Action 2 and I'm going to walk around the house just to see how we go with range. Apparently you've got 250 meters, so it should have no issues. Keeping in mind though that I'm going to be walking down the stairs, so there's a lot of potential interference and things getting in the way. So that's that's the go. Let's see how we go. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below before it starts. And I'm recording now. So I'm going to go for that walk. Let's see how the audio goes. Perfect. So what's going to happen? I'm going to walk down the stairs here. I'm going to go downstairs and just kind of stand around, maybe walk into the garage, um, see how we go. Let's see how far we can push it. Um, I'm downstairs now. I have no idea whether it's working or not. It's hard to tell. I have no idea. Like the green light is on the actual microphone unit. I mean, it should be working. Who knows? I'm in the kitchen now. The camera would be like directly above us, but through obviously a ceiling. Um, and now I'm going to go into the garage here and see how we go. It's going to be very creepy and dark in here. Let's see how the action two goes with its low light. Probably not great. So this is in the garage. Um, probably as far as I can get away from the camera unit right now. I'll walk up the stairs again, and I'm gonna go on the other side of the wall, which you see behind me normally in my recordings, and I'm gonna go into the studio and see how we go with that. I would imagine it would be fine. I mean, 250 meters, like, phew, yeah, should be fine. Should be G to G. Perfect, so we're up here now. What I'm gonna do, is walk through into the studio and we will see how we go. Let's turn on the light. Perfect. So in the studio now, the camera is just behind this camera. Should be fine. It really shouldn't be an issue right now. Um, we'll go back and uh, love your thoughts in the comments below. Tell me what you think of the audio quality and how the range went. Did it cut out at any point? I would love to know. I'm back in business. It was recording that whole thing as I was walking downstairs. I captured it all on the DJI Action 2. We'll see how it went. I have no idea what to expect. Everything seems to be fine. Everything's still connected up. No issues with anything that I can see on this end. So it seemed to be a success. Anyway, that's the end of my first impressions. Very positive so far about the DJI mic. Yes, it's an expensive unit um, and it's not going to be for everyone. But I think if you're serious about your film, and you may not be happy with the other options out there, you like the idea of what the DJI mic can bring to your setup and to your filmmaking, this could be the one for you. I will have my full review out very soon. I'll have my comparison out with the Rode Wireless Go very soon as well. But I'd love to know what you think in the comments below of the audio quality from the DJI mic directly from the mic system itself with no lapel mic, no witchcraft or woo wabbery. Is that even a word? Probably not. Anyway. I'll chat to you in the next one. Peace.